guys, it's Janet Wakeland with the Remarkably Created Training Center. In today's video, I want to talk to you about some new equipment that I've been using for my Facebook Live videos, for my team virtual training parties, as well as for YouTube videos with our product and things like that. A couple of years ago, when I first started trying to do videos and things like that, there was very, very few tutorials out there that I could find, and very few that kind of were explicit to the way that I wanted to be using product and things like that. And so over the last three or four years since I've started, I've kind of been on this bumbling quest to find the right product, to grow um, my business in such a way that I can show somebody, hey, just use this to get started and evolve into this as well. And I think I finally found a great system that's cost effective that even the newest um, demonstrator could work with. And um, again, it reaches out to anybody with any type of business um, on in the way that they might be um, trying to grow a business similar to us. So let me talk to you about the equipment that we're working with. First and foremost, um, the, the phone. The phone is indispensable. There's a lot of really expensive cameras out there and all kinds of other stuff, but most of us own a phone. And so as long as you've got an iPhone that's um, like an iPhone 5 or higher or a similar Android of a newer um, model, of course, because of the camera capabilities and editing capabilities right on your phone, phones are great to work with. And we always have it with us. They're easy to charge. It's easy to move this information off. Of course, using a phone is what works great with Facebook Live. So a phone is really like a handy tool. This and my iPad um, are absolutely wonderful. And then I use my computer. So those are like my three go-to tools. So knowing that I work with a phone, the very first tool that I'm working with is one that my friend Lydia turned me on to, and this is a pro stand from Archon. It actually is designed for crafters, um, people that are doing like cooking demonstrations and things like that. I love that this stand is portable. There's a little bit of weight to it, enough to keep it really steady on, on your place, but it is portable. One of the things that I have in my studio is I have a little place where I like to stand and just create one or two cards. I've kind of got like little things around me. And for my Facebook page, I like to do one to three minute videos called Remarkably Fast Videos. And I simply just put my camera up into the holder, give them that really quick little tip, and I upload it right to Facebook. I don't do it as a live video. I do it as just from my phone, a quick little video, and upload it that way. Um, just because of the scheduling and, you know, is not one that I'm wanting them to comment on or whatever. It's just a little fast tip that I want to get up there to them. And um, again, it's not face-to-face -face time or anything like that. So being able to take this stand over there meets one of the criteria that I had as I was evolving my, my um, video uh, making capabilities and things like that. The other thing about this stand that I love is it's got five adjustable points. You've got this little neck piece here, which is going to allow you to swing and swivel your phone. You've got these pieces here that are on, on balls, and so you're going to be able to turn and move those in lots of different directions and adjust them however you want them to be. There's two of those. You've got the same kind of little ball joint right up here that you can then move this whole piece, and then I can adjust it. Okay, and depending on the size project that you're working on, the area that you're working in, maybe how many people you want in your video, um, things like that, you're going to want to adjust the height, so that's something that works great. I love that the piece that, and I'm trying to get this to turn here for you, the piece that holds the phone has some nice protection for your phone, and it just stretches to accommodate your different phone sizes. This happens to be an iPhone 6 Plus, and it holds it great. So I'm going to have, have that in there. And then again, one of the things that you're going to need to do is just play a little bit with your optimum position for what it is that you're recording and working on in your surface in front of you. So this is one of the things that I've been using, and I love it, and it's extremely portable. I have a retreat this weekend, and I will take it with me because a lot of times there's little spontaneous demonstrations that happen, and it'll be nice to capture some of those right on this stand and and actually then even help some of the, the, the demonstrators that are there maybe make some of their first videos. So I'm looking forward to that, so that'll be some fun for them. Then another thing that I've been using from Archon for my Facebook Live videos, for my videos, is this little light here. It's called a ring light. It's a nice circle light, and it has three different settings. So you've got this one. You can go even brighter, and then it's got this soft little light right here like this. And you can see, I don't know if I can get, get it good here, but maybe if I do it on, onto my face, you can just see, let me change it here for a second, how it's going to change. So, And it does the same thing for your projects. 
In addition to using it on my phone for my videos and things like that, I also use it on my phone for when I'm taking pictures of my projects. I have a little white box, just a cheap little white box that I picked up on Amazon, little photo pop-up box, put my card in it, and now I've got this great lighting that's right here um, on my phone ready to use. In addition to using it on my phone, I use it on my iPad so I can put it on my iPad. And then the other way that I've been using this little light is on my computer. And it does clip right on here. I have an editing program that I work with called Camtasia. And Camtasia allows me to record the screen as well as have my webcam up on my face at the same time. So I can be talking about that and they can see me while I'm recording. And of course I can go ahead and there you go, have the light on me so that I look a little bit nicer in that video and things like that on my laptop. So iPad, phone, computer, lots of great ways doing video as well as then taking pictures. And then one last way that I use this is because they're so low, um, low cost, I have two of them. I actually have one in my purse as well. Um, phones aren't always the best in low light settings and so um, if I want to look good, if I want my subjects to look good, again, at this retreat this weekend. It's an older hotel. There's a lot of kind of dark spots that aren't photograph um, photography friendly. And so I know that if I'm going to want to be taking pictures of some of the projects and the guests and things like that, this is going to come in handy and it's going to be great. So pro stand, ring light. And then the last one, one of the things that um, I've learned is important is to have your face on camera, not just hands. As a demonstrator making cards, it's really easy to go get a cute manicure and um, just make sure that you've got a cute bracelet or some sleeves and kind of hide under that camera. But I'm learning the importance of FaceTime and building relationships that way, especially um, um, after being schooled by my 27-year-old daughter and, and just what they're looking for out there in videos and things like that. So I took all of that to heart. But one of the challenges that I was running into was that FaceTime for a few minutes at the start of the video and then switching to hands without all some kind of elaborate studio, without a helper, you know, videoing me once and then videoing me a second time and then, you know, remote. What It was just mind boggling for me. OK, and I like easy. I am not a technology guru. I'm going to tell you that right now. A lot of this stuff hurts my head. Um, so when I find easy, I embrace it and I love it. So Archon has another new product that's actually designed for people who do a lot of um, like podcasting, a lot of live streaming, and want to go out to multiple sources at once. And it's this dual holder that can hold, and I'll turn it sideways for just a second, see if you can get a better look at it. It hold, There you go, that'll give you the lighting better. It can hold an iPad and a phone, two phones. It's got different configurations and things like that. And what I found that I'm able to do is I can put my iPad in here, and I can have it on my table. And I can be talking and saying, you know, hey guys, I've got this great project. I'm excited to show you the Eastern Palace bundle, da 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 da, and all that kind of good stuff. And then I'll say, you're ready to make some cards with me? And I can have my phone on here already set. So I know that this is the optimal position, and I just have it over here, and I just swing it in, grab my hand, tighten it just a little bit, and then I can start making my project. So I've got my face here my phone here and I can swing this in and out. Some of you who have seen me do other videos before and I know I've done some training on YouTube and I've showed you a different stand that actually has a price point three times higher than this. It's not portable. It's actually what I'm using right now. Um, in order to do this, before another way to do it would have been to have your iPad you know, on that stand and I would have had my iPhone on a camera tripod with a, an iPhone adapter on it. And I need that big screen that I can see myself. So having this right here, you know, with my face and then this right here is great. It also eliminates a lot of this background stuff that's behind me and things like that. So it's great to work and kind of keeps your light condensed and things like that. But that other stand, again, I had mentioned it in other videos and stuff like that, is really, really heavy. It's not portable. This one I'll be able to take with me to the retreat again. I'm able to move to other parts of the house. I've actually flown with the pro stand and taken it with me um, out of state when I've done some training and things like that. So this stand works great. So again, the three products that um, I'm using now in my business, <laughs> I think I gotta tighten it down. It was like a Ferris wheel rider, one of the, what is it, they're called the swings at the, um, at, the, at, the, at the state fair or something like that, is the pro stand. 
And then there's this dual stand adapter. And I'm really kind of intrigued. I'm kind of looking to see how, as demonstrators, dual broadcasting will work for us. I know that you can have two presenters on Facebook. So I'm also kind of thinking ahead to um, the investment of this stand and how it will go. But again, everything is still very cost effective, very well made. Their customer service is over the top. I really like working with them. I had a chance to meet Aaron from Archon when I was out at Social Media World, and just nice people. So you've got great product and nice people makes for a great combination. So in my description at the end of the video, you will find the product codes as well as a code to use if you would like to save 20% on all of the products. So um, happy video making and um, happy lighting up your projects and things like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.